Hi, Billy Dillard from Billy Dillard Art. Uh, today we're going to be working on this rocks that the bear's sitting on. Uh, previously I had changed all carved it out, but I'm not totally pleased with it. You know, that kind of happens as I'm working on projects. So I'm going to work on it a little bit today and see if I can get more of what I'm after. So uh, the benefit for you is you'll be able to see some of the tools I'm using and some of the processes that you go through when you're doing this. Um, so let's just get started with some of the tools I use. So anyway, right here I got a Black & Decker uh, grinder with a large pad on the back of it. And I got, this is a 24 grit sanding disc. Uh, I'll use that um, on the larger areas once I get the initial carving done. This here's my Makita grinder with a Lancelot carving disc on it. And if I get any tight spots, then I'll use this Proxon with this little tiny cutting disc on it. See, it's a little chainsaw on a little round disc. Comes in pretty handy. Uh, and then I'm going to show you how to use, do some sanding when you got areas that uh, flat sanders just won't get into and it won't work. I'm going to show you using this process. And then there's a, supposed to be another, oh, this one here for getting in the little crannies. I, by the way, I picked these up, both of these, I picked them up at Harbor Freight. They are re extremely reasonable. And they work pretty good. And then I got my grinder here with a thin cutoff disc. It's actually for cutting metal, but I may use it to go around the fur on the back of this bear here and cut a line in, because I need something really thin. Um, I don't, right under here, you can see where it's cupping like this. And what I need is a thin line to separate that, and then I can come in with my burr bits and uh, dish it in a little bit. So by using this, I'd, I'd be able to do that. So let's get started here. See how everything goes. Now this, this I don't have, um, if I'd have had more time, I would probably take and make a little clay maquette of exactly how I want those rocks to look. But for the case of the video today, I'm just going to go for it, and we'll see what we end up with. I want to mention too to make sure you're wearing your hearing protection uh, you, like I say you don't want to have your ears ringing the rest of your life so protect your hearing so I'm gonna use the soft earplugs and then I'll come over them with these also so I got my hearing protection and when I start off with this thing now this here you got to be really careful with it um, like if you get it in a jam like that it, it can kick back out of you and jump right out of your hand and who knows where it's going when it jumps out of your hand and, that, and that's why I like these paddle switches Because at least if it jumps out of your hand, which hopefully it doesn't, it doesn't just keep running like the ones with the switch when you turn them on, they're running wide open. So find your pedal, pedal switch and uh, Makita makes a really good one. So let me get my hearing plugs in here and we'll get started. Oh yeah, dust mask, make sure you got that. Protect your eyes, safety glasses. Let's get started.
So I got a basic shape that I'm I'm pretty happy with. Uh, di that didn't take very long either. Um, when, if you haven't used one of these before, take your time with them. You know, don't get in a hurry with this thing. Like I say, uh, it can be dangerous if you jam it into a corner and it kicks back on you. It, it can really hurt you. So, so take your time with it. Get comfortable with it. Uh, you can get the speed after you use it a while. So I've got that knocked out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this... Uh, this little Nylox sander on there and you can see it's pretty flexible so I'm gonna put that in the drill and kind of go over a little bit of it just to show you how this um, what it'll do it, it'll polish it up but it, it doesn't flatten it so any irregular irregularities you have in there it'll stay in there which that's what I want I don't want these to be flat and totally smooth I just want to polish them up a little bit and knock some of that grain down before I end up putting a clear coat on these. So I'll show you this real quick on how it, how it works. I don't know how hard it is for you to see that, but hopefully you can see it. What it does is it'll kind of round off those real sharp edges a little bit and it polishes up the other grain. So once you uh, put your satin clear on it or whatever you want to do, stain it, it will give it that more, more of a look of the rock, which is what you're after. And you can, I mean, you can stay on that and, and sand it and as long as you want, but but I, I try not to overwork it. You know, I mean, it's just a matter of uh, getting the look you want and move on. So, now what I would do is I'd go over all these rocks, the whole thing, but I'm not going to do it today because that would take longer than what you want to watch, I'm sure. But I would just do the whole thing with this here and then come back in, switch it out for this one here when I need to get in the little crannies like this.
Okay, so now you can see where I've went over it and it's getting that really polished look. This is definitely starting to look like rock and that's what I was after. So now it's just a matter of going over the whole thing with those two pieces right there. I'm not even going to need the big disc, um, but if I would have, I had it. Better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. So anyway, um, hopefully this will help you out. So what I've shown you today is using the Makita grinder with a Lancelot disc to actually uh, really start giving you some shape there as far as your carving goes. And then once you get it carved, how to use these two little deals here from Harbor Freight to uh, polish it up. So if you have any questions, make sure to uh, leave a comment, subscribe, share with your friends, and uh, keep coming back. I'll be making some more. All right, later.